Yes, let's get kicked off. So, Soren, you are first. You are going to take the lead on making your data work for your using excuse me, making your data work for using, uh -huh, yeah, see, I can speak, making your data work for you using entity field mapping with Power Apps. Please take it away. All right, thank you very much, David. So let's see here, and I'll go ahead and share my screen. And you should all be looking at a uh, beautiful, very simple model-driven app here. Um, yeah, so I'm Soren. Um, I've been working as a uh, yeah, for consultant work doing uh, Power Apps and doing mainly model-driven apps for four years, and I just love Power Apps and model-driven apps. So when uh, when David uh, gave me the opportunity to, to demo something, I thought of this right away. This is something that I show quite a lot of people. Uh, it's, uh, in my my mind, a, an underutilized feature of, uh, of of Power Apps, or specifically of uh, using Dataverse, that can uh, that can do uh, a lot of uh, a lot of really amazing stuff and uh, and maybe help you out. Um, so basically, what uh, what it does is the uh, that you're able to when you're creating a new record, you're able to to copy over data from uh, from a, a parent record quite easily. So let's just go and see an example of this. So I have a project. In this project, uh, I have some uh, some KPIs. For example, let's say here, let's say that I have a uh, my overall KPI is green, my financials KPI is green, my uh, risk KPI is green, and the timeline KPI is green, uh, because everything is just going great. Everything is uh, going great right now. So uh, and uh, and I have some uh, some other data here on this uh, this parent uh, record, this project record. So what I want to do now is create a snapshot of uh, of my current KPIs. So I have a subgrid here for uh, for the project, uh, and uh, and I just saved my data, and then I'll go into uh, creating a, a snapshot. I'll just select a, a snapshot day, a state. It's today, uh, and what we can see already is that the uh, end date, the status, the KPIs, they're all copied over immediately, uh, because I have this uh, entity field mapping uh, enabled. So, uh, so how did this work? Uh, so I can just go ahead and save this record and close it. And here I can also see in my overview of uh, snapshots, I have this here from uh, the snapshot from today, uh, where all these uh, are green. So I didn't have to fill out anything except uh, just uh, update the uh, the uh, the the fields on the parent record, uh, and then they're automatically uh, based uh, copied over when I create the new uh, new record uh, in the uh, in the child uh, table. So how does this work? Um, so the way we do this is let's go into the uh, into the uh, maker environment on my uh, my environment here, and I'm in my solution. Of course, we're always working from a solution. Now, unfortunately, we have to go to uh, classic mode to do this. Uh, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, now that everyone is uh, starting to use this feature, it's going to be available on uh, the modern interface as well. So anyway, the way we do this, uh, of course, in our solution, we have our uh, our entities or our tables um, and then we can go into and actually doesn't really matter which one of them I go into uh, let's just do it from the project so if the project has uh, a number of uh, snapshots related to it so it's a one to many relationship one project with uh, many snapshots so I'm looking at the uh, one to n relationships uh, for for projects uh, and here I can see the uh, relationship between the project and snapshot uh, entity or table so what I do is I open this, and then under mappings, I can select which fields should be mapped from my source uh, table to my target table. So right now here, I already have every one uh, or every one of the fields uh, filled out. Let's just delete one of them, the uh, timeline, just so we can see what it looks like. And they will create it again. So if I go in and select new, uh, and it was the uh, timeline. So it's the timeline here on the uh, target. I can only select uh, right now fields that haven't been mapped already. So it also helps me see which ones are available. And then on the source, here I can select uh, any one uh, of the, the available fields. So here I'm also selecting the timeline. So now I'm uh, connecting the timeline uh, field on the project with the timeline field on the uh, on the snapshot. So in order for this to work, I need to have the fields created on both tables. They need to be the same type of fields. But once that's done, uh, this could be a choice field or a, a date field or a text field, anything like that. So once that's done, we can just save that and uh, and close that and then go back to the app and uh, and see the, the way it works. So here in the example, 
I have the snapshot date. I have a date, or the date I'm filling out manually, but I have an expected expected end date. That's a date field. I have a status field, a text field, and I have uh, choice fields, which are the KPI fields. So one way of using this, uh, just uh, wrapping up, because actually it's not a long demo. Uh, that was actually mainly what I want to show. But but uh, sort of two main uh, use cases for this: snapshotting data quite effective effectively. Uh, another use case could be if you have um, security, uh, if you want to, you can use it for security purposes. Let's say you have a parent record that uh, only some people should have access to. You have information there that not everybody should be able to see. Um, if you're working in the uh, call center or if you're working uh, in the medical field or something like that, that you have, uh, let's say you have patient information, that is uh, the main information. And then you have some people that should just see uh, only some of it, uh, only some some parts of it. Uh, then you can create this uh, sub record, which is just the uh, what was going on in this specific uh, call or in this specific instance uh, that only copies over some of the information. So that would be another way of using it for uh, for security purposes, where it only uh, where it can copy over some of the relevant information, but uh, but you're not seeing all of the information on the uh, on the top level. Um, yeah, so if there's any uh, questions, you can uh, ask them in the chat or uh, also you can reach out to me uh, afterwards for uh, for any follow up questions. Um, yeah, that was pretty much it. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, Soren. Now, just as a little history for everybody, Soren uh, answered a call that we had at MPPC. We reserved a spot because we wanted new new uh, presenters and we're kind of going towards a back to basics opportunity. There's been a lot of requests for kind of basic maker like functionality and uh, showing off some of that particular uh, features and, and stuff like that within the solutions and the products. So um, Soren answered that. So thank you, Soren. Let's give him a little bit of some community love, right? Uh, we absolutely love it when first time presenters come on so great job really appreciate it um so i think you did actually create a little bit of a slide a, a bio slide i think maybe you just forgot to show it off when you first started you want to bring that up and and that way we can at least just get it recorded and everybody can kind of know who soren is yes definitely definitely let's see here this so this is uh, yeah so uh, yeah i forgot all about it i was so excited that i wanted okay. to show yeah. you this uh, <laughs> this app um so yeah making your data work for you using uh, entity field mapping and uh, this is me uh, yeah, I'm working as a solution architect. Uh, I have pretty much uh, every single one of the uh, the uh, Power Platform certifications you can uh, take, except for the PL500, the uh, robotics automation, unfortunately. Um, yeah, you can find me on YouTube or uh, X, uh, the Power Apps Viking, or my blog, the Power Apps Viking. If uh, or yeah, reach out to me on LinkedIn um, or here on the on the call. I'm also always joining these uh, community calls uh, because this is uh, such an amazing community. Awesome. So yeah, good, good stuff. So thank you, Soren. Very, very good job. Really, really appreciate. It. Can we send like smoke signals and carrier pigeons to contact you as well? Is that okay? Is that all right? Definitely, definitely. Nobody <laughs> <can>. crickets. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much. Excellent job again. Okay.